Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, this one's a pretty special one, so I don't really, I'm not gonna really say too much. Um, but it, it really summarizes why we love dogs so much and why they're so important to us, and um, what, what a positive influence they can have on our on our on our person, on who we on who we are as people. Thanks so much for joining. Um, it, it, you know, it's, this is a new a new YouTube channel, and we're trying to kick off and um, you know, I guess promote purebred dogs and all that sort of stuff. And who else better to talk to than um, the the best in show winner at Sydney Royal, twenty twenty two? Like fuck me, Dad. Can you believe it? <laughs> no, I can't. Like <laughs> even hearing you say it, I'm like, but who? Yeah, but who? I um, you're like I, like I've said 18 times. You are the first person outside of my immediate circle that I have discussed this with. Like Jason and Esther have put their Facebook posts up, and yep, yep. I've had all, everyone message me and be like, "Where's yours?" And I'm like, "Ha, I got something coming." Because I just I cannot find the words because it still hasn't really sunk in. Yeah. And like the Oxford Dictionary couldn't provide me with enough English to lay out what I have to do. Like that moment has been a built up of 20 years like people do it for 60 years people yeah. do it for forever, and forever. Years yeah and and don't and don't get to this point and i just sit there and i'm like but it's it's not me like i watch the videos and and i hear it happen and i'm like even seeing myself on the news and like in the articles and everything <laughs> i sit there and i'm like <laughs> you know, that's really that's really nice for them. And then I'm like, shit, that's me. But the next day, <laughs> like, tell me the truth, right? The next day, were you cruising to the shops or whatever and like, expecting people to recognise you? Um, it, uh, well, I was actually at the Royal the next day. Oh, were you? For what? Uh, again, like, um, for the grooming competition. Oh, so I have a miniature shit. schnauzer and he was, he was being used in the grooming competition. So I turned up and it was like a flock of birds. Yeah. Well, and like. Even even going to work today, like every second client that came in, they're like, "Oh my god, we saw you on the news." And oh, I'm like, really? No, you didn't. Yeah, it's insane. Like yeah. when you get on TV, like it's insane, isn't it? Like it goes next level, like the reach and and and, and whatnot that you get to. Um, so yeah, listen, I've prepared this thing that we've been trying to get going, <laughs> and I reckon it's going to work this time. So let's play it. Money's on it. Yeah, it's going to work. <laughs> Here we go. Best in Group, Gun Dog Group 2022 Advanced Sydney Royal Dog Show has been awarded to the Gordon Setter exhibit number. See their reactions four, too? Four. <laughs> like everyone's reaction. Mate. Just, that, that's what got me there just, right, right now the tears yeah. and the, 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 that's so just raw emotion, huh? Round of applause for our retiring four shortlisted dogs. <laughs> Just at the top gate I think your reaction was bigger here than actual when you went best in show. Maybe you're I exhausted. <laughs> Honest to God, I think because most of my reaction to best in show together. was don't make a mess. Do not. Don't face plan. <laughs> No, this is my favourite part. My favourite part is where, like, I actually had no idea what was happening. Where to go. Yeah, well, in, in fairness, I'm just going to pause this. In fairness, like, every other year it's been pretty consistent. You just do a lap and you go out that back thing. But for some reason, yeah, the dude who won the Cavs, he went for an extra lap. He's like, mate, this is my time to shine. I'm spending more time out here. So then, like, that set a precedent, and I think it kind of confused people a little bit. Well, see, they said we're going to watch our winners go around. And, like, in my head, that's that's go around. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I went to half go around and I was like, wait, the gate's down there. And then Jacinta's behind me going, no, go, go. And I'm like, yeah, okay, keep going. So we went to the next one. Keep, do three then, laps, four laps until the clap stop, yeah, I reckon. Bridget and John Bryson are in the like the top corner and they're like around around and i'm like okay yeah. but all at the same point in time i actually hadn't fixed tane's check chain underneath his neck so he's just like super cash ah, jumping around right. like, That's what it was. yeah 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 mate, we are making a hot mess of ourselves well right it doesn't now. matter then <laughs> no it's, it's out it's like try and take it from me yeah you. but that see that's um um 
I reckon that's, I'm a bit like that too. Oh, the chain needs to be perfect and the chain's not perfect. Oh my God, everyone's going to hate me now. <laughs> my, my dog's not looking perfect. <laughs> that's hilarious that you're you know thinking he, about that at that moment. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And the whole, the whole thing is like, he's such an idiot of a dog at the best of times. Yeah. So like in that moment, and he's one of those dogs, like the more you clap, the more you scream, he thrives off that. Like, We'll talk about it more like when we get into the general specials because like everybody clapping, I'm standing there and I'm like holding on for dear life because I'm like, I swear to God, you put a foot out of place and yeah. we're going to fight. Yeah. And we're going to fight the benches. Like just yeah. stand still, you, it's not for you. Do you reckon um, um, Do you reckon the reaction was bigger? Because I think like I heard all day like Glenn's going to win this group. He's the hot favourite, you know, and then I think that kind of because he's, he's there next to you and then when they've called right, you like, out. Let's break this down because it is still my – it's like the whole of Sydney Royal Day going into it yeah. is the funniest yeah. story that you'll ever hear. So we had our specialties Friday and Saturday and then we were at the Royal on Sunday. Yep. So at the specialty – and every every judge's opinion is different and that's why we enter. We, yeah. want, we want the different opinions of each respective judge. Yeah. Tane and I got second in our class and reserve challenge dog at our specialty. And then the next night – and there's 38 Gordons. Yeah. Mate, I'm usually the only Gordon at a show. So 38, I'm like, it's an all breed show. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Listen, um, the same thing happened to me when I was like brand new. Not not brand new, but when I was like getting serious with um with my Stafford, we went best in show with 309 Staffords, right? And she was yeah. 14 months old. The next weekend, all breed show, third from three. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, that happened to you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then the next night we had like the set of specialty and obviously the, like, so Tane is bred by Esther, Joseph and Michael Luby yeah. in from Price Out of Kennels. Um, so they're based in Victoria, but her right hand man and basically her protege is Jason Moore of Set who, yep. who is now Setmore Kennels and he owns Tane's father. When I started showing Tane, my support crew was them in Victoria through all of COVID and then, so we had all plans that we would meet at these specialties. And I'm like, shit, pressure's on. Like, oh, we've got to perform in front of Jason. Right. Like, he's going to he's gonna take this back home. So how and long have you been on him for? Was, up until the, like, how long has this build-up been then? for to, Even just to catch up and show in front of these people that you look up to and, you know. So two years. Two years, like, literally. So you got him just before COVID, or you were on him just before COVID? Yeah, so it was... Um, it was the end of 2019, so it's two and a half years. So it was the end of 2019, and it was the the three the three big shows down at Canberra that are usually in like November. Yep. Um, yep. and my miniature schnauzer that I have um, was only a baby at the time, which is originally why I took him on. Yep. Because I was sort of at this weird like teeter point in my life where I was so used to having a show team of like six and seven and all of a sudden I had one and I'm like what? Oh, baby puppy. Six and I seven. Baby. <laughs> no, really? Well are you show are you handling yeah. for other people or you're just you? Well it was usually just me because I oh, I actually started with Jeff Russell's with my grandmother. Wow. Like I was I was that kid who used to wear my riding boots, my flower wrangler jeans and the ugliest headband to match my pink shirt. And, like, I rocked that competing for handlers and specialties. That was my starting point. Wow. And that was 21 years ago. Wow. Wow. Um, and then I had, I was showing Kelpies for um, Megan Kane of Jevna Kelpies for 10 years. Yeah. Um, and, with, and with Kelpies, like, the grooming is, like, so we had a team of six and seven because the prep right. for them was nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I turned 18, my grandparents actually bought me a border collie from Sharon Hannigan. Ah. Um, and that's how I started with the borders. Oh, that's so cool. I, how did that feel, though, getting your first dog? It was wild. Yeah. Like, I had, I had three choices. Like, I, was, I always wanted – I was either going to get an Aussie Shepherd, a German Shepherd, or a border collie. Yeah. Um, and I had breeders yeah. – I had breeders laid – like picked out, laid out, done my research, the whole whole nine yards. Um, and it just so happened that at the time, Sharon approached my grandmother and was like, I have this litter, I think there's something really special. And then I ended up with Sparrow, um, who I 
or would have been, God, he would have been seven this year. Yeah. But I lost him two years ago. Uh, um, he got struck by lightning. Bullshit. You believe that. No. No. Nah, no. Nah. Yeah, dead set. Oh. So secondarily struck. So in a storm, it was just after Black Summer, yeah. and he'd been at my grandparents' because I lived in Pheasant's Nest, so we were we were in and out of lockdown. Um, and I'd only just brought him home, and then we had all those rain, and the oh. autopsy showed that he'd had hold of the fence, and the lightning's hit the fence oh. and has got him that way. Oh, that's fine. Any- Moving anyway, on. Get Moving on. Topic. So tell me, um, I- I'm actually interested because, uh, like, I'm a I'm a terrier guy. And a sight hound guy, right? I've never, I'm completely honest, I've never really taken to um, working dogs. And you've just like named three of them that were going to be your, your pick. Like, what, what, what attracts you to, to you know, working dogs and that type of dog? Uh, probably the hardiness. Like, I'm there's there is nothing little or gentle about me in any way. And like working dogs, and that's a, a, a crosses over with gun dogs. So you working dogs, you can it. you can yeah. basically like like fight them and they'll fight back. And I I love that. Um, And because I'd had the Kelpies, like I was, had been involved in the Kelpies for so long. Yep. Um, And I'd I'd made quite a name for myself, especially with um, one of them. Yep. So it was sort of one of those things where it was like sort of stick to the group where people know you belong, Um, which is what I found really hard when I first started showing Tane because it was everyone knew me with the borders, everyone knew me with Kelpies, yeah. and then all of a sudden I've got this black and tan Gordon, and I'm just like, nah, I'm here. I so, know, I know that feeling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird old uh, dynamic, but um, yeah, yeah. So tell me more. Tell me more. Why? Why? Like the the hardiness? Because um, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely interested. To know, because I've I've, uh, I've always been a bit like, I, unless I live on a farm, like really. <laughs> they're incredibly loyal. Yeah, like they're they are like working dogs are Velcro dogs. They will they will do absolutely anything for you at any any point given or time. Like I remember, I remember one time I was in a I was in a pretty dark situation and Sparrow climbed a fourteen foot stable wall to get to me. No. Like there was there was no stopping it. Oh, so yeah, they're just. They're in, they're incredibly loyal yeah. and they're just but at the same point in time, like you ask them to work and they're gonna do it all day and they'll do it till, till I get you drop it. dead. I get worry. it. Yeah. So they're a type of they're a type of dog that will just give you everything they have. Yeah, yeah, and then more because and it's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why so, and uh, Yeah. Okay, that's really interesting. I I really respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And with like the choices of going to Border Collie or Aussie Shepherd, it was more a personal challenge for me because it was grooming. Like, yep. the, like I said, the Kelpies are nothing. Like we, the, yeah. the most we ever did was use brown shampoo. Yeah. Like, yeah. Whereas with the Aussies and the Borders, like you're, you're yeah. using product and yeah. you talk, and it was learning about different coat types and things like that. Um, as for picking a German Shepherd, I'd shown Ronda Ralph Shepherds a million and one times. And just love the fact that they were fast and I had to run. Yep. Fair. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I want to go as slow as possible. <laughs> yeah, so um, so that led you to the the working group, I guess. Yeah. Uh, tell us how you come yep. you came into Tane's life. So I actually met Tane when he was a baby. Yeah. So he's he, he's seven in August. Yep. Um, I met Tane when he was a baby and I just fell in love with him. Like he's just he was just the coolest little dude and like nothing in life was it. Like he, he just, he has eyes that pierce your soul and you never forget them. Right. And it is one of, it is one of his most high, it's a highlight quality of his. And it's one that you'll like, once you've looked into them, you never forget them. Yep. Now is that, um, is that a thing with the breed? It's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 They're windows to the soul. Like right. Oh, I like that. I like that. That's interesting. I like that because I feel similar. Like, you know, I don't know. You have a connection with dogs and you know, like, you see past the facade that's just yeah. their eyes. Like, you see into them. And that's yeah. why I'm, like, really, I'm really into Staffords because they, similar to, you, to your working dogs, they, like, how I describe it is they would climb inside your skin if they could. They can't get yeah. close enough to you. And yeah, so that's really interesting. But at the same yeah. point in time, they've got that crackhead energy. Like I have a Stafford as well. <laughs> just throw that in there. <laughs> and uh, you're a glutton just... for punishment then. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I am, especially with him because he is the the king of destroying. Yeah, things. it's. Yeah. So well, he's from a, he's from a you know he's from famous breeders. So how I guess yeah. how, how did that how did that all come about? Like you you you're in Sydney though, right, or up here? Yeah, yeah. So originally, so originally, Michelle. So Mich- Michelle Thomas is his the owner extraordinaire behind the duo that is Tane and I. Yep. So she yep. approached. She did her own research, and there was a kennel in New Zealand called Azaro. Yep. And she fell in love with this bitch called Rihanna, mm-hmm. who name escapes me, but I'll find it. Yeah. Um, and she fell in love with her and she said, that Gordon is the picture. And then she kept doing more research and she actually found out that she was here in Australia with Esther and Esther was having a litter. From the same dog? From from that Ooh, bitch. Oh, wow. And... Uh, Michelle started in Rottweilers and had Shih Tzus, and then I said, to, "I've said to her Rottweilers in the Shih Tzus. That makes Gordon, sense. I know. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why on earth are Gordon Shih Tzus? Because I wanted one. I'm like, look, fair answer. Like, why? She, not? she was it. Was it that particular dog? Like, was it that specific dog or the breed overall that drew her? Um, it was the breed overall that yep. drew her, but it was yep. it was that dog she was determined to get a pup out. Wow. Um. Wow. And, yeah, so Esther had this litter coming up and she rang Esther and said, look, I'm really interested. Um, I'd really love to show one, blah, blah, blah. And Esther said, well, I've got two left. You can come down and have a look. And so wow. she went wow. down and ha- had a look. And at 10 weeks old, she brought this tiny little puppy home that had all the had all the right things in all the right places and wow. went, oh, here we go. So how many were in the litter? Do you remember? Uh, there was thirteen. What? They have big litters. Oof. Oh yeah, they have. They they're like Afghans. They oh. just pump them. Good luck at weaning time, eh? Like when they when the mum stops no. eating the poo. <laughs> That's what I dread. <laughs> I'm like Kylie. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it's your turn now. Oh, I like it's always. Oh, she's the best. I'm the worst. Um, <laughs> so there's thirteen in this litter, and. By the time you guys got there, it was there was only two bitches left out of how many bitches? Two dogs. Two, sorry. Two dogs. So there was um, two dogs and the rest were girls, I believe. Oh, right. Oh, there. okay. Right, right, right. So basically you got pick male. Well, it's funny that you say that because no, we didn't. Mm. So the, the other boy that was in the litter, that was Esther's pick. Yep. And he ended up going to Greece. Yep. Yeah, right. Um, he ended up going to Greece. And... Um, Michelle didn't like you. Michelle didn't like certain things about him, yeah. so she picked Tane. Yeah. And, and Esther said, "Well, I disagree, but your pick. Good luck." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Michelle showed him right up until about junior. I'll just say straight um, up, then, though. I'll say straight up, picking a puppy for me is like lottery. Like <laughs> I've yeah. seen too many dogs oh, God, change. Yeah. Like I know I, 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 it stresses me out when people say that they know how they know exactly. I don't know. Like I've seen, oh, I've seen them just. I don't know how you, you have some people who sit there and go, "I can pick my pups in four weeks." <clears throat> they're still slugs. Like they're still crawling around the whelping box. Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me I, how. I, 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 good luck to them if they can. But I just I, like from my personal experience, I've got zero idea. It's like yeah. it, you've just got to trust your breeding, um, and 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 cr- cross your fingers and pray. Really, like <laughs> so yeah. many things can go wrong. Um, so yeah, sorry, I I, I interrupted. Um, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So she's brought him home 10 weeks. 10 weeks, she did all the training. Yep. Um, so he was, she still had a British bulldog at the time. So the British bulldog was his mother, which was Dior. Um, and so he was raised by this British bulldog and um, she started showing him and got till about junior and realised that she couldn't run anymore and wasn't doing oh, him any justice. Right. Um, so she actually tried to find a handler for him and at the time it was, um, an ex-partner of mine. Yeah. And so he, sh- he started showing him and I fell more in love with him because I'd seen him as a baby yeah, and right. I said to, I said to Michelle, it was a sneaky like little, if Let, you ever, let's if you ever want him. someone else to show him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did you say it to her about your own boyfriend? You tried to bin your own boyfriend. Really? <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Dedication is my hobby. That's what I call it. I'm not calling it nasty anymore. It's dedication. <laughs> well, if he's not in the picture, fuck him. <laughs> yeah, 
exactly right. And like you would always see me like outside of shows, like I would work Tane and like sort of like hint that he worked better for me than he did for oh, him. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah, yeah. Dropping the little <laughs> things and maybe you should try this, babe. And, you know, oh, he yeah. really responds to me. Can you see that? Like, look at this, you yeah. know. Don't. We play the same games. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah just classic rivalry. So, you know, and, and then – Obviously, he ended up weeding out of the dog scene. Right. Um, so, right. my God, Tane has had, over the course of his life, he would have at least 50 or 60 different handlers because Michelle was finding it really hard to find someone that would stay on him yeah. and give him give him the time and sort of the yeah. effort that he really needed. She just – she was really looking for someone who would do one-on-one with him. But yeah. like most of us in the dog world, we have – our own breeds yeah. and it became increasingly hard to find someone who was going to make it all about Tane. Yeah. It's because um, we're all amateurs, right? Like it's not like in the States, it'd be different. She could have gone, right, this handler, it's this amount of money. I can budget for it. And, yeah. and, and you get what you like, what it is it's completely different here. Yeah. Oh, mm. absolutely. Like I, a dream of mine is to go over the States and see it in full, full action. Like yeah. over there, it's a full on, it's a full-on profession. Like it is a everyday kind of sport. Like yeah. here, it's just basically kick around the soccer ball in the backyard kind of hobby to to most people. Well, we say Whereas that. Over- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I in my in my brain, I sit there and I'm like, I have given up ninety five percent of my you know life to to do this. I wouldn't change it for the world. But there yeah. are so many sacrifices that we make as dog people that you know the every yeah. everyday person yeah. wouldn't understand. Well, it, it's kind of it's that is a core reason why I wanted to do this channel in the beginning because um, I just don't think people know enough about what we do. They just look at us as freaking crazy dog people, and <laughs> like <laughs> we, we might we might be crazy, but we might be crazy. But like I see, like, it's just passion. You know, and that passion oh, drives us. Cause absolutely. Like it, absolutely. And it's weird when you when you take a step back and you think, what is my motivation? Why am I doing this? What is the the end game? That's there, there is no end game. The, the the it's the journey. You've got to you've got to absolutely. Yeah. It's it, it's constantly sticking to that journey, and you just you make more goals, and every time you reach them, you set a new set. Like I could, if I had, if we had an entire bucket list plan for our team and with COVID coming in last year, a lot of those got wrecked out. Yeah. Um like like with everyone. So yeah. I said to Michelle, like we got we got his Supreme last year and I said to Michelle, like when he got it, I was like, right, this this year, I said he's got nothing to prove anymore. Like we'll start we'll start winding it back a bit. Yeah. And we'll just do our bigger stuff. And then COVID came in and then twenty twenty two started and I said to Michelle, I was like, this is it. Like this is our year. I said bucket list reinstated. Let's go. Just you're competitive. Never I never, I, I, I never had you pegged like this because like we were all, like we've never had a chat like this before. Right? It's always been hey, hey, doing what's yeah. going on. I didn't know that you're so competitive. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. You know what? I I am I am extremely vicious, and sometimes I have to. I sometimes do like the internal like check yourself before you wreck yourself because you're going to get a holiday. Um, and it's not intentional. It's just that when I took Tane's lead. Yeah. And Michelle and I yeah. first started this. I was crapping myself because Esther Joseph and Trisetter and Michael, yeah. like those guys, yeah. are like they are like the godfathers yeah. of Gordon yeah. Setters across the entire world. That has taken so yeah. many decades right, right, of right, pure right, dedication right. and hard work to to make the name that they have yeah by breeding the quality that they do all of a sudden i've got this dog and it's like no expectation no pressure yeah, and i'm right. like hey, kidding. okay so um, yeah because so, i don't i don't know too much about like I've, I've met esther before um but i don't know too much about them so they're globally renowned for 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 absolutely Gordon Setters. Yeah, like, right. com- and it didn't really hit me how much until monday happened and i checked my inbox and i was like <laughs> whoops Right. And is that their biggest win? Uh, so she's had a win at Adelaide Royal. Yep. And I yep. believe she's had a couple of big wins over in the States. Yep. Um, I couldn't I couldn't narrow it. I couldn't narrow it. The right only – well, yeah, it has to be Sydney Rule has to be the biggest one. There's only yeah. only one where yeah. it would I'm, be an I'm, argument. I'm going to say it. Yeah, 100%. I own it. Like I know there's rivalry about which who's got the best show and the biggest Royal and 
I'm just flat out Sydney Royal, right? I've been to them all. Sydney Royal is my favourite. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and people go, oh, it's, it's, it's you know, the second biggest, largest, Melbourne's bigger. And I'm like, Melbourne is nothing on Sydney. Like the whole atmosphere, like Sydney, I, for, for me especially, I've never missed a Sydney Royal. The only Sydney Royal I missed was the one that got cancelled because of COVID. Yeah. And I'm 25 and never missed one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, Wow. And I think it's because that's just our locals. Like They they would have that local yeah. feeling that we just don't get. Like, we we go there, everything's foreign. Where they go there, it's like, yeah, this is our setup. So it's fair. Like, uh, yeah. They could probably argue, like, if they had won a Best in Show Melbourne Royal, they could probably, they'd go, ooh, that's a tough, that's a tough setup. So pretty much no, we're talking I'll about, <laughs> so we're talking about globally <laughs> renowned, we're talking about globally renowned breeders over, like, they've been breeding for, you know, generations, right? So... Yeah, um, so I for at least I'm gonna say at least forty years, yeah, if not more. Yeah. So yeah, OG. Like I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like you could almost go as far as saying that she is the godmother of gun dogs. Like the woman. Yeah, right. Is so so well done in this world. She does not get that appreciation and gratitude that she should. And I say to her all the time, I worship. I will worship her feet. And I will, I, you know what? It's funny because I was so terrified to meet her because of who she is. The first time I met her was at a backcountry show at Gan Main last year. Really? Last year? She goes, oh my, yeah. She goes, oh my God, Sam, it's so nice to meet you. I said, hi, Esther. And I bowed. Yeah. I goddamn bowed. And I've <laughs> never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Was that just a natural and, reaction from you? Yeah. It was just like meeting the queen. You just automatically bow. That's so funny. And my girlfriend, Kat, was standing next to me. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out. <laughs> Save me. It's like, uh, I like lamp. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen yeah. Anchorman before. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, I guess, uh, you know, you call her the godmother and things like that. So, in your experience, like, what has she done to help you? To, to have that such in a standing? Yeah. She, I, I was never necessarily all that confident in my handling skills. Like I, it was one of those things where like I knew I was good, but I didn't know whether I would ever do yeah. a dog like Tane the justice that needed to be done yep. because I'd never handled a setter and setters are completely different in, in the ways of working dogs. I had, I had done pointers, I'd done Weimaranas and I'd done a few labs but setters, your whole presence with them has to be in unison. Otherwise, you just look like a mess because they are such – I to me, they're just such an elegant animal that yeah. it's, if you're not completely in tune mm-hmm. with them, you don't – the partnership in it just doesn't look right, especially when you're stacking them and you've got – like you've got, to, you've got to measure out your wingspan from nose to tail – to make sure that that whole picture, when that judge looks at you for that yeah, six seconds, yeah, 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 yeah. bang on. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm scared was, of that. I've got short arms I, and I'm a short ass. I don't reckon I would be able to have that. I, I wouldn't have the wingspan. <laughs> so, well, that was my biggest fear. And, and it was just, you know, es, Esther's quite, I, I think Esther's quite petite. She would probably, she'll probably kill me for saying that. But I think uh, Esther's quite petite. Think, and I used to sit there and look at her photos and I'm like, how did you do that? Uh, how? So it was just, you know, the last two and a half years, her and Jason, I, uh, their support and guidance and wisdom has just been unparalleled. So shout out to Jason as well then, huh? Yeah. And like, and the crazy phone calls, like every time we won, I was like, sorry, did I stack better? It was it was a constant ongoing thing because I am always looking to improve and you know, you're always looking to grow. That's awesome. So it was a constant, it was a constant two and a half years of like, they'd see a live stream and I'd ring them and I'd be like, so, and they'd be like, well, that was good, but do you want to try fixing this? And I'm like, okay. Good for you. And you know, That says a lot about your character to be open to that type of feedback. You know, a lot of people aren't. It's at the end of the day, it's constructive criticism. And we're in, we're in, when you, you know, you get to top game, you need to be open to constructive criticism yeah. or you're going to do nothing but disadvantage it's, it's yourself. It's the only way. It's the only way. Because you, you, you don't, you don't, you're not, you're not born an end product. The only way to improve no, is to, not. 
is to listen to you feedback. don't die in end product either yeah like you don't you you can't stop growing yeah just because you're pig headed and you get to the top and you go well I'm here what are you gonna do yeah and you can't you can't think like that because no. once you get to the top the only way you can go is down well that's it that, that so, you shouldn't even define top you know like yeah. it, what we're doing is a journey right so you've you've hit the yeah. pinnacle right but your journey's not finished right like you've, you this no. is just a this is just a, a massive like high in this journey that you have that you're having and like yeah. back to that right like your photo is going to be on the wall up the top don't don't, don't even don't like <laughs> <laughs> no no let's discuss that i came out of the ring and sharon hunnigan is like my she is my show mother and she's also a counselor at the royal so I hadn't gotten to speak to her the entire Royal because we keep things completely apart yep. for unbiased opinion. And she was one of, after Michelle, she was the second person I wanted to find. And I found her and like, this is a woman who was in the police force for many, many years. And she's like Mrs. Poker Face when it comes to. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you know, you know exactly what I. It makes I'm sense now. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her and you think, my God, she's intimidating, but like, give her a bottle of wine, and she's got jokes for days. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Well, that's just probably <laughs> born out of environment, right? If you're going to be a cop, like yeah. you've, you've got to have some level of distance, you know. So exactly. Yeah. So wow. I'm walking towards her, and she's got like this poker face, and I get closer, and then she starts blubbering, like cannot wow. speak, and I'm like, I can't, and she goes. She goes, I'm so proud of you, kid. Like, you you finally done it. And you're going to be on the wall. <laughs> and it hit me. And I looked, I looked up and I could see the wall through, like, the top part of into the cafe. Yeah. And I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like, this photo better just, be good, man. <laughs> that, is a, that is a scary concept. Like, it's fine. You just mm. won Best in Show at Sydney Royal. And you broke 200 years of history, mm. but being on the wall is what scares, scares me the most. Yeah, like because having it's, my face yeah. there for God knows how many years to come before we go completely digital. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll just turn into an <laughs> NFT then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That whole room will be an NFT, like it'll be the metaverse, <laughs> and we'll cruise in there and see all the winners. Um, yeah. But absolutely. Like, like, I go that only this year I didn't go up there. Um, just because like the crowds were insane this year, but every year I oh go up God. there and I look at all Thank the you. all the old dogs and the new dogs, and it's just it's just it's history in like one little area of of our whole hobby. Yeah. And uh, you know what? I I I've thought this many times, and even the when it really triggered me was listening to your podcast with Wendy last year and hearing her talk about the history behind dog showing. Floored me. I sit yeah. there and I think. It is the biggest disadvantage and it, it, it really is heartbreaking to see that the young, of like younger people coming up in our hobby have no interest in sitting there and listening. And I think that's really sad because there is so much history around like just the people sitting next to you, like the Lucy Ellens of this world. My God, you could sit, you, Lucy could write a whole library. Same as Wendy. Yeah. All the golden oldie, yeah. all the golden oldies have got all this knowledge. And I think it's really upsetting and it's really sad that well, hopefully, you know, a lot of young people don't want to hear it. Well, I agree a hundred percent. And that's why I did that, started that podcast and, and, and I'm bringing this back in this format just so I can keep the content going. I don't need to rely on other people yeah. all the time. But the, the, the yeah. whole premise behind it is to have people like Wendy, um, you know, and the, the real goats and the OGs of the dog world because, yeah. like, their, their knowledge isn't in a book. Yeah, you know, but if that's we can... exactly right. And that's where that, like you said, where that wall is just, it's such an important part of what we do because there are so many moments captured and it really is the pinnacle of anybody's of anybody's career whether you're a whether you are just like a handler like myself or whether you're an odor breeder or like all of the above mm. to be i know it's a dramatic thing to say but to be immortalized on that wall for such an achievement is it's more about the recognition and appreciation for the work you've put in mm. rather than mm anything else but even like as a young yeah. kid with a dream like you've achieved that dream like yeah. how many kids can say that yeah exactly like to be quite honest with you this will this will floor you going to sydney royal for the breed i was like i just want the breed 
I just want to breed. There's four Gordon Setters. I just want. To yeah, breed. yeah, yeah, yeah. But your dog, <laughs> ha- your dog has to perform though. Like if 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 yeah. he, if he messes up, you doesn't matter. Like I, I know people say like shows it's set up for that dog or whatever, but the dog still has to do its thing because if it, yeah, if it messes absolutely. up or it doesn't show its to its capability, then it's finished. It's over, and that's the stress of a exactly. handler, right? And there's probably more pressure in 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 those situations to it to a point. Yeah. Exactly. A hundred percent agree with you. So I turned up to the Royal and I was the only one there. And I was like, are you kidding? Give me that ribbon. Like, I, it was, it was, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sitting there. I was like, okay, I just ticked something off my bucket list, but I, God, I didn't want to do it by default. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I yeah, just sat yeah, there and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was, there was, there was complete and understandable reasonings behind why I was, but at the same point in time, there was there was the competitor in me that was like, that's a kick in the guts because I'm here by default. Never did I think, that was my first ever best of breed of the Royal Virtue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, didn't yeah. stop. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, wow. I, fuck it, I forgot that. I forgot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've never had a best of breed of the Sydney Royal before? No, at a royal in general, I've never had a best of breed. That was it. That was Tane's first up and done. Were you disappointed you didn't get the jacket? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how many people I've seen like in past breeds where like I've shown their dogs and they've gotten those jackets Uh, and I was like, we don't have jackets anymore. uh, Or the umbrellas, like the old pedigree umbrellas. Boss. Like when I was a young kid, when I was young, cruising through and you see people cruise around with their jackets, you're like, oh, (laughs) bullshit. (laughs) And then when I got one with tea, I put like queen tea on it. I've still got it, you know, up there. And then we got best of breed this year and, and Kylie comes in and says, no jackets. <laughs> well done with um, Seb, by the way. Yeah. Thanks. Big. Yeah. He's a little dude. Yeah. The beautiful boy. Yeah. 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 I was, I was more happy with Barry. Um, oh no, I shouldn't say yeah, that. I was, no. as happy, I was happy for Barry. I was so happy for Barry and Kylie as a team because that's what, like Kylie and Barry. That's what kicked her off in in dog showing. And yeah. OG, you know, she went through the ring with that dog, and he's just turned out to be like the absolute people's champion. And yeah, he's twelve years old, and he was in the ring just yeah. strutting, cruising. Like, oh man, I was that yeah, was so I, cool. I, yeah, always once a show pony, always a show pony. They just. The, I, there's I, a know, there's a unspeakable bond between yeah, the two. Absolutely. Like that that spark in his eye is never there for anybody else. Like that's special yeah. what they have, you know. And that and that's what you see absolutely. in the ring. Yeah, absolutely. And I think especially with Staffords too. I'm pre- like I've I've heard it from so many different Sta- Stafford people that they could be literally dying and they would still call towards you for a hug. Like just for a cuddle. There's there, so, there, there was a um, when you've got a bond with them, they don't give up. There's a famous poem, and this is like describes Stafford's for me. Um, is is and I don't know how it goes or whatever, but the, the the gist of it is, this dude committed suicide, jumped off a cliff, and his dog followed him. You know, and yeah. and that's the Stafford. It's to the end. Yeah, you know, with absolutely. their with their owner. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, like Barry, when Kylie leaves the house, Barry's at the front door, won't move. Doesn't care. Yeah. And then when mum's no. home, he'll come and pay me attention. I'm like, dude, you had all this time to come and say hello to me. <laughs> now that you've got your, you know, your support you structure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you need mum's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so you got best of breed first time. Wow. <laughs> Without beating a dog. So you really could have yeah. like not beat a dog this year. Yeah. But you beat yeah, every dog. Quite literally. Yeah, I beat every dog. Every dog. <laughs> It's, I, even like, hearing you say it, I just, I, I can't. Yeah. Like, I just can't fathom or even describe my feeling. Like, even watching that group video, yeah. I'm standing there, and I had my money on Disinter and Cody. Like, I had that said yeah, to her. Yeah, at, yeah, at the yeah. They're such a good team, aren't they? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, like, their bond is just yep. next level, and he's just, he's stunning. Yeah, yeah. And... I like his we dad in, as well. We, I like that dog's dad. Yeah, as well. wins. Yeah, yeah. He's um. Speaking of that, I need to. Uh, I will never be able to show my appreciation for just interim Paul. Um, and Paul owned Wings, as we know. Yeah. Um, the so the Sunday, so the Sunday I, Tane had been groomed the week before by Wendy Wooters. Uh-huh. The best. Um, and yeah. 
had been done mm. right in, but he'd grown out a little bit and had some dangly pieces. Mm. And I'd done the I'd done the breed and come back in and Jacinta had filmed me and she said, I need to speak to you. And I was like, okay. And then Paul had said, I need to speak to you. And I'm like, who's told who what? <laughs> like, Jesus. And then I get a phone call I'm from Esther. Hooked. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and Esther goes, can you just take Tane down to Paul and Jacinta? And I was like, yeah, no worries. So I take him down and they were like, we just wanted to clean him up. So here they are grooming my dog. And they've got my comp- they're my competition. Yeah, but that's why it was so cool. Like on the um in the re- reaction, the the camera was on her when you won. So you yeah. actually literally saw her, and you guys were there first and second. That's that's awesome. And twenty minutes beforehand, she had my dog up on a grooming table and was helping him groom. It was helping me groom him out. That's sportsmanship. Like, that's awesome. I just yeah yeah yeah. And I I'm standing there and I'm like no. Nah. No, Cody, Cody and Justinta got this. And we're standing in the shortlist. And I didn't think she was going to shortlist me. Like, God bless Geraldine for her reaction because she, she – her reaction to me coming up is really what sent me over the edge. Yeah. Because she, when I walked up, she goes, yep. stop crying because you're going to send me over. I've still got a job. Really? And I went, oh, that's so cool. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Um, but like you were saying, we're standing in the group line. I'm, I'm, so when Justinta went runner-up, I'm like, all right. Well, you know, we've worked hard. Yep. We've gotten here. We've, we've got shortlisted. And a lot of dogs didn't. Yeah. And that was a strong to, gun dog group. To get like, shortlisted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big dogs in there. And I'm standing there and I'm like, okay, so Paul's behind me. Tanya with the Hungarians in front of me. Glenn's in front of me. And Ben Clark's in front of me. Mm. I'm like, it was really nice. It was in my head. I'm going, it's really nice to be shortlisted. Yeah. As they said, best in group goes to the Gordon Center. And I went, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And then it just, it all happened yeah. so quickly. That moment when it, getting, you could see it, you could literally see it when it hit you. Like the yeah. your tears and everything just came out, you know, it was, it was awesome. Let's watch this video then. Just, Jacinta, when Jacinta hugged me and she said, I'm so proud of you, it just, it sent me because I, like I said to you, I've, with this dog, I've just, I've never stopped working. Yeah. Like never, we are a never ending working battle and just him in general, like the journey that he's been on to get here, considering that he nearly died at 18 months. Really? Um, He ate, yeah, he ate his mother's, um, he ate Michelle's entire herb garden, like an olive tree, a whole rosemary bush had to have IV fluids done. And then she has spent the last six, she spent the last six years trying to get him to eat. Like he would eat for three days and then not eat for three weeks. Oh, wow. So it's been a constant. He's just the Mm. amount of work that goes into this dog. And there's a, there's a whole team behind this dog. Like the dog has staff. Yeah. Like that is not a lie. What? Yeah. He has a, he has a handler, a groomer, a mother, Michelle mm. calls herself the, the poo picker upper. Like the dog has a whole entire payroll mm. behind him. Like it just so it was just that in that moment you just get a whole f- sense of feeling of team recognition. Yes. Yeah. And that yep. that every ounce of hard work and dedication that you're given. Yeah. And all all the low times that you have where you sit there and go think well, this isn't going to get any better, you just go but it just did yeah like all of that and it's it 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 probably is a bit ridiculous to say that a ribbon can give you that feeling but it's, it's not the ribbon just... they, they can stick the ribbon up their ass like the the ribbons are rubbish anyway but yeah, it's the it's moment the it's what it represents yeah it's it, absolutely yeah. yeah that's that's the right wording thank you for the english <laughs> no it's fine it's like i wish i i, I joked cuz um i was they have all the trophies lined up and i just thought oh, i wonder if like shades his name on there so I went on that perpetu- the perpetual trophy and someone goes, yeah. oh, is your name on there? I said, I said, um, yeah, but, um, and she goes, oh, did you get to take it home? Like, did they let you take them home? I said, no, 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 no. Um, they keep them. I said, all I want to do is just fill it with champagne and drink from it. <laughs> 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 but, but like I took a photo of, cause it had like Wendy's name on there with shades. So I took a photo of it and sent it to her. She was wrapped. But like it's, it's the same thing. While we're, while we're speaking of a, of, a, of a beautiful woman, I love Wendy. Yeah, she's, she's very good value. She's the best. Yeah, I love that lady. I'm, I'm heading out there on um, Saturday to go see her. Um, but he was, was one of the very first people to message me. 
Really? Oh, yeah. she's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, she was on it. But it's the same with her. Like it, it's when, when you're part of something that's not just – when you're doing it for other people as well out of – it's yeah. not like a paid transaction. You're doing it because there's, there's genuine passion, there's love. Um, you, you know, you, you, yeah. you all are doing it for the right reasons. And then when you achieve what the, that, the dream is, you've, you've all done it yeah. as volunteers. There's, there's no, it's not, it's not a job for any of you guys. No, no. And like, I, like I said before, you know, especially with setters, you have to have that connection to be mm. in unison with them to have a connection and I'll, I'll, I'll fluff my own feathers. The connection that Tane and I have in the ring and outside is never something that I've experienced before, not even with my own dogs. Yeah. Um, and that's been something that I have worked towards for two years because it was one of the very first things that was ever said to me when I started handling Tane. The two things that were said to me was build a connection or don't bother. Yeah. And when you when you stack him, if your arms aren't hurting, you aren't doing it right. Oh wow! Yeah, right. Jeez, sounds that's um sounds extreme. Because um, like you, <laughs> you hear pop you, that elbow. Like yeah, it's funny because you hear stories like people want to be like known as like that natural dog person, like a dog whisperer and things like that. But I'm the worst when it comes to that. Like if someone hands me a dog ringside and say, "Can you go and show it?" I will like do the worst job you've ever seen. Like I need to have that bond and spend that time with, yeah, with the dogs before. You, well, you lose interest if a dog's not going to look at you with hearts in your eyes, with hearts in their eyes. Sorry, it makes it very hard to mm. enjoy it because you feel like you're not. That's a good point. You're not in it together. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you've got to, you've got to be in it together because you know at the end of the day, the old saying goes, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. Mm. Oh. You know? There's a new bumper sticker or a tattoo. That could be a new tattoo. <laughs> you've got to have you've got to have that connection that like you only have to look at each other. Like there's there yeah. is a shot that Kerry Afford got um, when we got best in show, and it quite literally made me bore my eyes out all over again. And you can't really see Tane. You can see the tip of Tane's nose and his eyes, and I have my tongue out. Yeah, and I I'm, like, I'm sticking my tongue out at him, and yeah. In, you cannot get a photo that describes yeah. more of what Tana and I like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and that's something that only you really know, right? Yeah, yeah. Word. That's so cool. Listen, let's watch this lineup because this lineup's freaking pretty bloody good. <coughs> 200 dogs almost. We're down to seven. In a moment, we'll be down to two. Runner up in show. What a lineup. 2022. I know. Vance Sydney Royal Dog Show. From Corey all the way down to one. It's insane. Fox Terrier Wire. I love that Foxy. The Zip wire. Four, yeah, Bungie. Two. He's a character well, and a half. Congratulations to the Fox Terrier. What's his name? What a wonderful Bungie. Bungie. It is. Suitable. He's, yeah. He's a beautiful he's like, dog. He's quite literally like a dog on a bungee cord. Yeah. He just goes. Yeah. I think it'll be a great trip back to Victoria for them. Now, ladies and, and gentlemen, I have six... It's funny because one of the first things that Esther and Jason... Oh, this I laughed. I laughed. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I laughed because I'm like, you are being such a, like, a little stage. Look, look. <laughs> like, okay, uh, stop. Like, you want to know? <laughs> this is so good. So do you know how much pain I was in by this point? Oh, really? Like, my, <laughs> the only reason I was smiling that big because it was the only way I could grit my teeth and look normal. <laughs> So funny. When I saw it, when I was putting it together, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Full stage mode, you know? Hey, I just one. Because my arms were so sore from standing. Yeah, you're gritting. They had that play, and I'm like, someone hurry up. You will see the look of disdain on my face when they're like, and we're going to move them around. And in my head, I'm like, oh, of course you are. Like, just- well, it was a nice way to announce it, I thought. I thought it was a nice way to announce it. On the move. Absolutely, no, absolutely. But in that moment when you're like arms are getting to the point where you're like, I haven't been to the gym in weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's why that I always look down. I never look up moment, for anything. We'll find out who will be taking out. Best in show the best is the Gordon show. Setter. That bit there, huh? Number eight, four, four. And the Golden Setter has taken oh, out the win. Oh. You can just see now. Golden Setter. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that raw emotion 
the hair excitement, coming. the absolute honour of winning Best in Show, Sydney Royal 2022. Congratulations to the Gordon Setter team. That dog lives in New South Wales. but As they turn around, there. ladies and gentlemen, just have a look well, at those. there you go. The look of roses. joy on the exhibitor's face is just wonderful. Tears of joy. And the beautiful she was Absolutely elated winners. to win here this morning. And now to take out the best in Fox show. Terry With Rap Day. Be the highlight of one, two. Career in her life. Best in show, Gordon Setter. I love that they don't know what's going on. They, they just know that you're happy, and so they're happy. Yeah. That's so good. You know, and it's, it's funny because when I hit the deck, <laughs> I ripped my stockings. Yeah, that's all right. What's wrong with that? Who cares? Like, <laughs> the, ham, the, the handler in me, the first thought was, I've just ripped my stockings. <laughs> And then it was the realization, and then Amy Peterson's run over to me, and she's like, "Well done, kid." And oh, like, right. Oh, okay. So when you hit the, God. yeah, right. <laughs> oh my stock. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, like, because it, it was one of those like leading up to taking off. Right, I wondered what the delay was, and Christy Baxter came up to me afterwards, and she goes, "The delay was we were telling Ingrid and her team." who had won so they could get into position to get reactions. Ah, uh -huh. right. That's why the camera was on you. Yeah. And then, so when I'm standing there, like I do the stupid thing where I look around because I'm like, it's the only way I'm going to control myself here. And I'm looking around and I kept looking at Lynn Butler and I'm like, you're looking at me and you're giving me a weird look. You're eyeing me off. Do not, do not say my name. Like, do not say our name. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm going to lose it. And I had prepped, I like, I had prepped my entire support crew. I told Nikki Lane and Caitlin Willis, I said, if the, if he gets named, I said, somebody come and grab the dog because I'm going to pass out. Mm -hmm. And it was just, you nearly it was did. one of those. Mm. Yeah. And I just, and I looked up and I saw Ingrid running behind me and it was like, you start getting that feeling. And I just sat there and then they were like, we're going to move them around. And I was like, for the love of God, Tane, we just have to do this one more time. Because it was already decided, we, right? Yeah. And as soon as we started running, I can't put it any other way than, like, as soon as I start running with Tane and we start showing, nothing else in the world exists. Mm. Like, and it sounds really corny to say, but it's home. Mm. Like, it is absolute home for me because, like oh, I said, so at the end of the day, he is... He is my best friend, like, and we have we have travelled so many kilometres and yep. had so many sleepless nights, yeah, and so many like so many climbs together and so many fall downs. But at the end of the day, like being he just the when he when the way he looks at me, I just I can't help but feel okay. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's so ridiculous to mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. but I. I just, he's home. Yeah, like, he's, he's a rock for you. That, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting, like when so, you share so many moments with a, a dog, you you can't not form a bond because you've had those times together. I know with like with T, like we went through so much and it was just like, it's you can't even describe yeah. it. You just can't. Yeah. So. Yeah, and like it, I don't, and it's not to take away from, I've handled some great dogs over my career, like over my time in showing, but yeah. even, even my yeah. own, I just, he just gets me. Yeah. And like, he's me and a dog, like Mich the people who know him will laugh, but they'll also kill, kill me for saying it to you. He has two brain cells yeah, and like only one works at a time. <laughs> right. <laughs> I am very, I am very much the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when all cylinders fire, it's like there's this big things happening. Yeah, like yeah. Big, big blue minds. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Um, listen, before we finish off, is there anything? I guess is it. I don't. You know, I don't know. Is there anything else you want to you want to say to to I guess some, you know, sum everything up of what of, of what this means to you as a person like uh, it's 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 all good that we're um you know that we have a hobby and it's our passion and we do it and you know that's a that's a, a landmark moment for you now going forward but um i'm more interested in in like this is a hobby that we have and it's part 
of who we are. And I want to know like how has, you know, even the lead up and this moment, how is this affecting you as a person, like a human? Have you thought of that? I'm sorry. <laughs> I have never had so much confidence brought to my heart. And like I said, I have worked incredibly hard over the last two years and I have the best, the, I'm like my A team behind, behind me and behind us are just, they are next level. And I have never felt more confident within myself to be who I am. Who you are. Yes. Your, your, your truth. Yeah, and, and, absolutely. Yeah. I've like I like you said before, I've never you I am competitive. Yeah. But I'm also extremely humbled by this journey that I've been able to go on with with this dog who, you know, had had done great things before me but just needed someone extra. Mm. Well, he needed that connection. And, he yeah, needed that connection. And, yeah. I am incredibly humbled by the people that I've met along the way and have opened, like my whole world is completely different to where it was two years ago. And take, take, take the wins away. They were going to be there no, that no matter what happened. And I can't, there are no words for the appreciation that I have for those people and for this experience. Like this is a once in a lifetime thing. Nobody's ever done it twice. Yeah, it's even, it's even more than that. Like, it, it, if it wasn't for this hobby, there's no chance in this world that you would have met those people. You know, from no, from from exactly dif right. different different walks of life. Like, completely, that person's living in a castle. That person's in housing commission. This person's you know on a farm, and everybody's come together to create magic. Like, it doesn't it doesn't matter. And they're my family. Yeah. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, I, I've always, you know, I have a few of my friends. I pick my family. Yeah. These, 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 these people and this support network, they are my family. And I never would have, I never would have had that opportunity to feel the love and support that I do to give me the confidence to do what I do and to be who I am. Beyond dogs. Without them. Yeah. Beyond dogs. Yeah. Like if I walked away from if I walked away from dogs tomorrow, there is there is nothing stopping them from standing right beside me as I walked out the door. Mm. They would they would they would applaud me, hand me a rum and coke, and go, "We love you anyway." Mm. And they would still be there the very next day. They are not dependent on how many how many ribbons I have on my wall, and they're not dependent on you know mm. how many how many times I, I beat them. <laughs> Because some of them are my competitors as well. Like they're not the they're not the people that you know aren't supportive of everything that happens. Mm. And I, that's what this journey has brought me. It has brought me the confidence within myself, and it has made me who I am today. And that is something that words even and I I'm just so goddamn hum, humble and appreciate I appreciate everything that they've done. Um and like to myself as well. Like yes. I've I've brought my I've rebuilt myself over the last two years and have recognized a lot within myself and have you know pushed forward um, to, to get here like I'm a whole new person mm -hmm. and it's just it's because you know you have good you have good people you have good vibes it's just it's all about it, the vibes it, man <laughs> it's, vibes. But, it's so yeah, true though it's, it's so it's, true. Like I said, this week has just been, it's been something else. Like mm. I, I still, I've tried to write something about 500 times and like you, you never find the right words. And I sort of sit there and I'm like, well, maybe if I talk to Lou. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I think, you know, I, I, let's, I, I'm, I'm I, like, I love this. I love speaking to people and getting to know who people are beyond the facade of what you see at a show because yeah. you can pretend to be anybody, yeah. you know? And, and that's exactly right. <laughs> like going back to what you said before of, you know, I like, and like I've said, I am extremely competitive in the room, 
but I'm a completely different person on the outside. But that's only because I'm I'm very much a zone person. Once mm. I get in the zone, like like when I took when I took Tane's lead, Michelle said at the end of the day, kid, they've got to beat you first. Mm. They're allowed to beat you, just don't make it easy for them. And that's where it all came together where it was like establish a connection because at the end of the day and now I'm really defensive over it because at the end of the day if you can beat the connection Tane and I and Tane and I have yeah, 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 I, will, yeah. I will back out because I have worked my ass off. Yes. And it's it's I sound repetitive and I do apologize. But it's just this week is just oh, I can't even So go 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 sorry to talk for you off. No, I no, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I, I'm sorry, everybody, because my freaking I had an alarm go off that I set, and I thought it was for eight. It was supposed to be eight twenty this morning. I was supposed to have that alarm. I always mix up the a and pm because I'm a fucking idiot. Um, but yeah, like what 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 I was what I really wanted to, I guess the message I, I've really taken from this is um, don't give up. The, no, no, it's not. Like, it's, it's, it's 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 not. It's it's. Yeah, 100%. Always, like, you've got to graft in life, right? You have to graft. Like, you can't give up. Um, but it's it's seeing you grow as a person beca- because of this, right? Yeah. It, it's, it's provided you the platform to become your best you. Like, that's what, I, that's what I love about this. That's what I think is the real story here. Um, yeah. You know, and, and, and the fact that you have an amazing bond with this dog, you wouldn't, this would never have happened without that bond, without that specific bond that you have. And yeah, f- for me, I always. And even like that bond wouldn't have been possible with, with you know, without the, without the people that behind, behind him. Well, it's the like vibe. That That's the possible. vibe. It's part of it at all. Yeah. It, it, like if you've got, yeah. if you've got some shithead screaming at you, it's hard to have the bond with the dog because you've got that negative feeling yeah. in the in the in the area but when everything's positive and you feel you have um an environment where you can be who you are without judgment without there's no facade it's just this is who i am yeah. and once you get to that point where you're comfortable to be who you are that's when you start to grow because you're not oh, uh, yeah you, you know what i mean absolutely and, and and that's allowed you to have this bond with this dog which has led to this moment and and, and for me, it, it really rams home the message that if you just focus on you and you focus on your dog, everything else just takes care of itself. You can't, don't, don't stress about things you can't control. Like you don't, if, a judge, if a judge likes another dog, so be it. Who cares? Like it's a ribbon. Like, you know, yeah. like it doesn't matter. It's, it's, yeah. As the old saying goes at the end of the day, you always take the best dog home because mm. they're yours. Mm. Well, I do. I don't know about you, but. And- <laughs> 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 Mate, I, I can guarantee you I do. That's what everyone says though, right? Like how can it be yeah. true? Like everyone says it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's because at the end of the day, nobody no you can take somebody home. You can take somebody that dog's dog perfect home, for you. Never, yeah. That they'll never look at you the same way you yeah. are in group. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a jigsaw puzzle. You know, and yeah. and, and that's probably why the 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 owner went through all those handlers because it just it wasn't that bond and the dog needed the bond and you needed that you needed to find a dog to have a bond with to grow you yeah. know to get to this point to experience this um yeah so like I, I, and, and on that note i i can't thank or show enough gratitude for michelle for allowing allowing me this opportunity yeah i think it's a, a good to, way to finish up is like trust. yeah Let's give a, <laughs> give a big shout out to her and um, and and uh, I guess highlight her importance in your life. Oh yeah, absolutely, and you know, and the big shout out to my A team as well. Like they know who they are. And yeah, I, we it, most most weekends we wouldn't work without them because they're always holding a drool rag or a brush <laughs> or something to That's throw so at me. That's so funny. I've never noticed. There's a freaking team. <laughs> Yeah, that's like really if, cool. If you ever, the next time you see me in the ring, I will take notice now. Don't worry, going. I'll be looking around the ring. <laughs> There'll though, be someone there. Yeah, <laughs> someone there holding like a coloured micro fiber towel. Guaranteed, it'll be matching my suit and a pin brush. <laughs> Someone's holding the got, got the poo bag ready, so like they'll get there like yeah. before it even hits the ground. Be like, yeah. 
So hair bands to hold his pants away, all the all all the trimming. Well, listen, um, I just want to say like a heartfelt thank you for joining me. This has been really special for me to speak to you about this. Um, I think I think you're just an absolutely amazing person. You always, I know we haven't really spoken before, but. Um, You've always been. I've always, you've always got a smile. You've always come across as a very positive person, and I've really enjoyed this opportunity to sit with you and 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 um, relive this moment, which is going to live with you forever. Like you can't like this. <laughs> this the feeling that you have, man. Like you can't just. And I keep saying it, but you can't just go and replicate it. Like it's the culmination of all this work, you know. No, and you just. There's so many photos and I am going to purchase every single yeah. one of them. You know what? I do the same yeah. thing. If I've had a show and I've liked and I've, uh, you know, I've enjoyed the show and I like the people, I'm like, I just buy extra stuff. <laughs> just buy, I'll yeah. take all the photos just because that helps Mind you. And- some of those, some of the faces that um, Ingrid's daughter Maddie caught, they belong in a horror <laughs> film, but I will still make a collage out of them. Absolutely. You should have like the, 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 the fun one and the, 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 the anti, the anti ad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, listen, um, but, you know, yeah, go for it. The, it was, it was more the crowd's reaction mm. that really sent me through because it was, it was, packed. you know, it was packed. It was packed. And you know what I noticed? This, um, I, see, I saw people cry on Monday that I've never even seen smile. <laughs> yeah. But even the crowd was um, positive. Like, I know we've, we've come out yeah. of COVID and everyone's like so heightened and, and used to like policing people and stuff like that. And I just didn't get that from any, like no, at any those, point. Those, those kind of vibes weren't there. And oh. it was really, really good to feel Sydney Royal getting back, like getting back to normality, despite some of the tragedies that did happen throughout the show. The overall vibe was... The, the atmosphere was back to what it yeah. used to be. Well, I think we like needed it, it. We needed it from a oh, Sydney perspective. Absolutely. Like, you know. And we needed we needed yeah. that pub, like the general public contact with our dogs as well yeah. because, you know, yeah. despite despite the complaints that we usually put out about it, like at the end of the day, we appreciate that because you you get to educate the public on why we do what we do and, yeah. you know, what we do in general and they actually get to witness you know, a small sliver of like yeah. the time that we oh. spend in the ring. Well, it's genuine joy. Like when you when people, I love that moment when they see a dog that or a breed that they like, and they've got oh bullshit, yeah. I want, I wanted, oh that's a Stafford, oh no, you know, like that that instant, yeah, that joy. Like it's it, yeah, oh, I love that, I love that, and and we saw it over and over, right? As people were walking past, yeah. So well, um, my favorite, my favorite with Tane is when they said to me, "What is that?" <laughs> I say it's a Gordon Setter. They're like, we've never heard one of those before. Oh. I said, no, that's because they're rare. I um, they're, they're I've so got rare. a I've got a running joke. Like me and my missus, like I had back in the day, someone come up to me and goes, oh, I love your dog. And this is when I was sort of just starting to show, and I'm like, oh, bullshit. This person, like, they look very, you know, like they look very intelligent. And they, and then she goes, I just love the always bl-. a bad sign. She goes, I just love the black ones. <laughs> <laughs> no. So I'm like, oh, far out. That meant nothing. <laughs> uh, well, listen, listen. We're about to run out of time because this is, this alarm's going to go off again. Um, again, like heartfelt, a heartfelt thank you. Um, and I really hope. No, I, I think thing. everyone's going to enjoy <laughs> this. Ha- <laughs> thank you for having me. I Absolute can talk pleasure. a lot of nonsense, and I can I can ramble a lot. No, it's good. But it. <laughs> It's it's been um it's been really good and I can't I honestly can't thank you enough for allowing me to be your first person on here. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I, I can tell you I won't I won't be the last and I just um yeah just anyone who watches thank you for all your congratulations and things like that it really it really means a lot where um like I said we're we're a big team and you know tonight I'm speaking on behalf of not just myself but you know, the entire team that goes behind the duo yeah. that we are. And, you know, it, it means it means a lot that you, you know, wanted to oh, 100%. talk about. And you nearly got me too. I'm not a crier and you nearly had me, you bugger. But um, I, 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 I I held it back. So um, it was a, it's a beautiful story and I'm so glad to see, like, just 
uh, just how positive you are, you know, and, 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 and just what a positive influence this has had on you as a person. And for me, that's the main thing, it, 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 you know, just yeah. to have that and, and nobody can ever take this away from you. And I really, um, you know, wish you the best and I can't wait to see you again. And, um, <laughs> you know, just, yeah, thank you. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Luke. We'll chat soon. Huh? Means a lot. No worries. Absolutely. All right. See you later. See ya. Bye. Well, how good was that? Um, I've just rewatched it as I'm doing the editing and um, I'm just, yeah. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. I, I enjoyed it and it's it really highlights um, why I'm doing this channel and, and motivates me now to um, continue to speak to more people and put more effort into um, doing, doing a good job and helping to do, um, I guess, our wonderful hobby more justice um and and help the public understand why um we are so obsessed with our dogs and and how um they can uh, i guess affect us as people and improve our overall life and why you know i guess in, in general why dogs are so important to all of us and um and it all comes off the back of community support um breed preservation and 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 just generally being positive um so thank you for joining. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, what a story. Uh, it, it, it got me. So um, thank you and um, see you guys soon. <laughs>